And here we go. Here we go again. <laughs> I just feel like she gets extra giggly. Like you get really, really angry. Do this, you ever since I broke okay, this hand, it never really works. Happy yeah. New Year. behind the scenes on NYDJ spring summer shoot spring summer fall well exact. yeah because they the the jeans are good for any season it's so, kind of yeah very yeah, carefree yeah. vibes we have more in common than sometimes i realize i love working with them i love doing anything with them my favorite place to be is with my family so for me this is like I mean, I'm happy whenever I'm with them. It doesn't matter if I'm working or eating or watching a movie or whatever, I'm just happy. <laughs> it's so fun that we get to do these things together as mother-daughters and you know, like just bounce off of each other's energy in like a workspace and just sort of have fun. And you know, like I, I can say to my mom, like, do you like this hair, do you like this makeup? I don't, it's, it's just nice. It's just sort of like having a friend on set. It's a sense of familiarity. Yeah. And of course, there's always this the thing with me and Sailor where she worries that she's too tall next to me and I feel too short because <laughs> I might be her big sister, but you would think, you, you know, she's there's a height sister. disparity. So it's, it's fun, but I mean, I feel like we all definitely, it's very self-deprecating the mood on set. Like we all <laughs> like jab at each other a little bit in, in a familiar way. Yes, sir, those my babies. No, sir, I don't mean babies. I think That's something funny. that people will be surprised about my mom, I think is that she's very chill. Like, I don't know, she has a very bubbly, energetic, like, personality, but she can really, you know, she takes her time in the morning. She doesn't need to like get on a face of makeup and a full outfit. She can chill in her pajamas and do work and do emails and, and play with the dog and then grab on some overalls and go to the garden all day. And that's just sort of like her day to day. It's not always glam. It's like being able to go with the flow and have some fun outside and, you know, get dirty and not worry about how you look all the time. That's definitely something that I feel like it's true yeah like supermodels you think that they're constantly stressed about how they look and like I think with my mom it just comes really naturally to her that like if she feels good she's gonna look good so she focuses on feeling good which is definitely important I think something that people don't know about my mom um, or at least I'm always like introducing even on like my Instagram for example is that she's an amazing artist she's an incredible painter she actually painted oh god was it 1995 dad's my father's uh you know billy joel okay river of dreams album which was gorgeous and a lot of times like i've put that up and people are like who painted that i'm like my mom you know so people don't realize like she's really a renaissance woman she's multi-talented um, and even um, this is why I keep them around. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she has beautiful penmanship as well. Like I actually tried to copy like her cursive because it's so good. But she's very, very, very artistic. It's so funny. I haven't had cameras in this very long time. <laughs> I'm an absolute no on the reality show front. I think that's my worst nightmare in life is to have a camera follow me around at all times. <laughs> And I think that most of us Which would Which is agree. odd, because I've had my camera on her, following her around her whole but life. But that's so different, you know? That's but I different. don't think that yeah. we would, I don't that's think different. any of us truly would want our entire lives projected to everyone else to be edited and, you know, like made into something that might not if, be 100% well, authentic to us. Yeah, if I could pick what moments I would like to be uh, shown, I'm a little bit of a control freak for those, <laughs> as they know. But I think, um, we do value our privacy and there is something about growing up, you know, out in the Hamptons in Sag Harbor, like it is a fairly private, low-key lifestyle. These two are really <laughs> dramatic and feisty and opinionated and... <laughs> I like the term I mean, theatrical. <laughs> theatrical. You know, I, I mean, like the dramatic. term opinionated. Opinionated. Yeah, well, see, so there yeah. you go. I just love being their mom you know and I wouldn't change any of it at all but I I do have to 
look at them and go, you know, look at all that power in there, all that energy that they have when they are determined to make a point. Seven years of tears and laughter as you stand outside my door. So with seven years of my new single, it really is quite literal, the title, because we've been together, my fiance Ryan and I, for seven years. And so what better way to title it than seven years? And actually, I, I try not to ask my father's opinion too much on stuff, because he's very like, not being a show dad, like wants me to do my own thing. But I did get his opinion, and he loved the title, Seven Years. He says, that sounds so anthemic. And um, it's a really honest song. It talks about the light and the dark and the complexities, but really the staying power and the loyalty that does come with being in a long-term relationship. And I just hope it's a song that other romantics can, <laughs> mom wants to sing, can resonate with. And, you know, I wanted it to just be like this hopefully like epic love ballad um, and I hope everyone really enjoys it. Cheers! Cheers. Happy Mother's Happy Day! Mother's Day. Day.